What have you been doing all day? Uh, I woke up, called out of work, uh, met up with some friends, went to Chick-fil-A, and then just kind of sat. Kind of sucked, but it's straight. Where do you work? Um, I work at a deli in my town. I like cooking, so I found a cooking job. Yeah. It's fun. Sick. So, are you like the guy hands on with the meat? You're beating the meat? Yeah. Just straight? I'm cooking, all, cooking all the products that like, everything people order, I'm cooking it. Are you taking that shit home? Is that shit lit? Yeah, it's straight there. Hey. I get paid cash too, so it's cool. Sick. So, I guess this is the foretold like blunt plate 420 episode is gonna be released on uh yeah 420 so i'll drink drink some beer for that some beer for that yeah i'm high as a kite i was fucking i power houred it before i um got to call billy here but billy tell me what tell me about why um you don't smoke weed why i don't um yeah I mean, I have nothing against weed. We'd say, no, I feel it, dude. <laughs> I wouldn't smoke I just, weed. Like, I, uh... there's, just, there's been times where I've smoked and I just like got like scared. Just not. I'm just like super paranoid and just like I couldn't move. So I. Yeah. Sometimes I just really can't fuck with it. And then I kind of just stopped overall. And now even like all my friends will be smoking and I'll just be with them and it's still like I'll still kind of feel it and I get like uncomfortable. Damn. Yeah, it's all like a mental thing, dude. Huh? If you, it's all like a mental thing. If you if you like let yourself get scared, it's just gonna go down that rabbit hole, I guess. And once you're there, yeah, it's not yeah, really fun. I can't fuck with any like acid or shrooms and stuff because I'll, I'll just have like a, a scared mindset and just ruin it for me. Yeah, that's rough, dog. Alcohol seems to be a uh, pretty cool then. Alcohol's so bad, but like it's fun. <laughs> like I don't even want to drink, but it's like whatever, might as well. Well, shit. <clears throat> this was the horribly planned, but it still managed to happen episode. Yeah, to- yeah, I, we, yeah. There was no sort of like definite about when. It's just like I'm just at my friend's house, sitting in my car. I was like, "All right, guys, I'll see you in a half an hour." Are your friends scooter riders? Uh, no. The closest. Well, there's a couple kids like locally. Uh, my brother scooters, and there's like a couple kids out at the park, but. Uh, I have to travel to like meet up with people like um, Badger and all like the forest boy dudes. They live like half an hour and then like Ben oh, and Snail live like a half an hour and then Ernie lives like 45 minutes away. Yeah. And then, and then past that is like the city where it's like Eric and Kong, everyone out there. Yep. And then even... And then I can, so I'm in like a good spot because then I go up north and I ride with like the Speak dudes. Like I ride with Nate a lot and like Dennis and like ben yeah, it's all like all a 30 just, minute 40 minute drive on, so it's either like Kong and Eric the Rockwell dudes or the Speak dudes that's primarily like who, who I'm riding with yeah lately it's been heavy with the Speak guys so, I, don't know, I feel like shit I drank a little too much last night so I'm like trying to keep it slow today but I feel it I've been playing there's a bar downtown that has some like beer pong tournaments and i won the past two weeks so i gotta try to get that three beat tonight see this is this is gonna be an episode about unity because we're like total in normal standards we're just totally two different people i'm stoned out of my fucking mind and i'm like bitching about it. i'm still talking about it here look at me i'm, but, just, uh, <laughs> I'm just steady in the car drinking beer yeah my friend but, um, is here. yo dog how do you how do you feel about double bar spins Double, like like throw double bar or like bar yeah bar? Thro- like throw double bar like the Brian noise shit um I can do them flat uh, I catch them like super crossbar but <laughs> uh they're still they're okay they're sick yeah I feel that um, way the double bar has been there's like two crazy ass double bar clips like Brian did that double bar before that like split part I think that was his ender yeah and then, uh, Brian Griffin it, um, it was like a redirect rail kind of he did like board board throw double bar out of it yeah 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 those two clips were sick yeah I can't really think of any other like crazy double bar clips 
Fuck, that was just a trick I had in mind right now. I haven't touched my scooter in fucking days we, or months because my injury. I, oh, yeah, you're so fucking sucks. Yeah, it's rough. I've been pretty lucky with injuries. Like, I, I had, like, tendonitis in my wrist, but I don't know, like, what's good with that. Like, if it comes around every so often or if it was just, like, a one-time thing. But I was out for, I don't know, maybe, like, a month or two, but I still tried to ride. See, now I look back on it, and I'm like, fuck, I was, like, doing good riding-wise, and I just chose the wrong big-ass rail to hit. <laughs> yeah, and you just try to, like, board a rail or something. And just, you, yeah. You broke your, like, your leg, or, like, Yeah, my leg. Shit. Yeah, I just straight snapped my tip fib. I broke my leg. Yeah, it, it was an awful experience. It still is. It's definitely a life-changing experience. And I went out this early, but, uh, yeah. you know how it goes. I definitely sprained. I definitely sprained my ankle before, like, I, the first time I actually sprained it, I was at, like, a Fiddler concert, and it was just, like, too rowdy, and I just got, like, s like some fat dude, like, stepped on my ankle, and I just immediately, it immediately swelled up, I couldn't walk on it for a couple months. Yeah. It sucked. Then I still, I still trooped it out to Niagara Falls, like, on crutches, just at Niagara Falls. Yeah, now like, I'm just going out to Mishes with, like, the riders, but I'm on crutches. <laughs> I mean, so you could still like. Uh, you, nah, that sucks. I'm down yeah, on the one crutch now, eh? Hey. Word, word, word. I'm like limping my ass around now. Yeah, you can still get around. Just get like a little motor scooter. Like, what's what's that dude's name? Uh, Chris Fuck. Martin, uh, like the tilt dude. He was on a motor scooter at the last Chai Jam. The mo like, like a moped, or do you mean like? like <laughs> yeah, I think he was on like a moped at the Chai Jam, just like riding around. Jeez, man. His That'd be a long process because I do not have one of those. I'd have to go out and like search for a nice one that I like, buy it, yeah, yeah. and then take it, stop. put it in like, you know what I mean, a car. Yeah. Somehow. Do you, you have to like register? What's up? You have to register it? Do you have to register no funds? I don't know. I just get like yeah. the little bitch made ones so I don't have to, you know? Uh, oh, yeah. It's like a certain like, what's it called? That's it, yeah, the CCs or whatever. Once you hit to a certain amount, you kind of... Oh, did you see, um... I don't know. I've never talked to them. <laughs> did you see Zach Martin's wrist? The picture yeah, that came yeah, out I today? That. Fuck. Like, that was heavy. Like, she just had, like, metal sticking out of his hand. Like, yeah, crazy. dude, that shit was crazy. Dude, Zach was there when I broke my leg, too, so... It's, it's some rough. Yeah, that's not good, man. It's some bad omen, dude. Whoever's there when Zach, it's, like, coming for you now. So how long have you been vaping, man? Vaping? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Talk about your vape. Well, I, I smoked cigarettes pretty heavy for like three, four years. Like and what then, age? What ages? Uh, I started when I was like 17, 18 or so. Gee whiz. And then, yeah, and then I just like, well, because I started dating a girl. And it was cool to smoke she stokes. wasn't really... Yeah, she wasn't like super about it. She was like, just like, don't do it like with me. And I was like, all right. So I might as well, I just like started slowing down and eventually just stopped. And then, um, I don't know, vaping was just the thing. And then I was like, all right, whatever. Might as well try it. And then, then I got sick. Vaping's tight. Hey. All right. So you stoked I'm not for really, years. I'm not really about like that fucking cloud comps and shit it's just like a, a cigarette replacement it's a sick one yeah for sure for sure dude that shit is vape tastic yeah it's like it's like sus but it's good <laughs> for sure like <laughs> at least you're admitting it yeah dude like if you see like even like me right um, now like if, I, if i'm driving by somebody or like seeing somebody vaping like <laughs> or even like when I'll, I'll be with Eric and Eric like will blow some like fat clouds and like it's called like bending O's and he'll do like all these tricks it's like too it's just like, crazy dude I've never taken the time to like try like I'll blow O's or whatever yo dog but, like, I got some crazy O's dude people go hard with that shit like yeah like competitions and like you know like fucking scootering and skating and shit they make insta vids like vapors make insta vids yeah, yeah, yeah. We've all seen that like, shit. 
Yeah, they like leak Instabangers. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking... I'm vaping. It's crazy. Yo, have you ever done like a vape banger? Like, have no, you thrown I, down? I've, I've, I've blown like a couple O's. I, I've never been able to do like a double O's. Like, shit like that. Like, so, Eric and like... Who's the name yeah, for Jesse like... Walsh. Jesse Walsh is a, a scootering vapor who, who does a... Uh, vape montages. I don't, he doesn't do them anymore, but he used to be with it. He had like vape sponsors and shit. Who's like the go-to scooter rider for um, gnarly vape videos? Then the go-to, yeah, Jesse Walsh. Fuck. I, th- I think his name's like Slushy Walsh on Instagram. For He's sure. A, if you scroll down quite some way, we should bring uh, it. We should like totally start it off. We should create something we hate. You know, like yeah. scooter vaping. He's a, he's a good dude though. He was uh he's like a Jersey guy. Jersey sick too. All the Jersey dudes are sick. Have you ever been to that park? The TIC? No, I've never been there. I'm not really I probably wouldn't do anything there. Like I mean I can like flow everything and maybe throw like double bars. <laughs> yeah. I'll just like go there and throw double bars on there. On everything. No, I like. I used to do that shit. Like at my park, there's there's a lot of ramps and stuff. It's kind of cool. But I'm not really. I can't do like, you know, 720 bar bars, and I can kick list though. So maybe. How I'll do you, How do you feel about uh, trick spamming? Trick. I mean, like, there's some people that like pull it off really well. Like, who who but, pulls it off well? Like, um. Well, I mean, obviously, when everyone starts scootering, like, there's there's no like nobody cares like. If you hit a twenty rail or if you're doing a double bra, it's all sick. Yeah. Like there's no no beef back then. Um, but like I used to, I grew up watching like Max Peters and like Brendan Smith and Ryan Williams and obviously like Coda. Like when I first started, no. those were, like the obvious like just like crazy things because you don't know what the fuck scootering is, so you see people doing these crazy things. Like, oh, cool. Yeah. But nowadays, like that Dylan Morrison video that dropped like a couple months ago, was really sick. Um, Yo, that D- Nick video, like it was edited, like the editing, like gave me a headache. But he does really well, and like I could watch Tommy Christiana footy for for hours. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's cool though. <laughs> Dude, I do that. Like I'll just scroll through his Instagram and I'll just like watch it. He's like, and he's like, he's like a really cool dude too. Whatever, fuck. Yeah, that's just like I don't pay people any mind like at skate parks. Like even if like I don't know, man. It's just like it's hard for me to like go up to random people and just start talking like at skate parks. Like I just put headphones in and just like look mad, kind of. <laughs> I don't like too, but that's just like you, you have the skate I, park I, bitch face. Yeah, yeah, for real. Like if I don't like know anybody there, I just keep to myself. Like I don't try to make small talk with people damn that's like are you just generalizing every skate park like that you go to i mean like if i'm with like people i know like it's different but like if i go to because like most of my friends skate so it's like when i go with them it's just mostly skaters yeah so it's i like obviously all of either they like don't care about scootering or they dislike scootering so it's like i'm not gonna try to go up to you and like yeah i can see i can see that try to like win you over just because like i'm on a scooter and i have to like try to be your friend yeah i'm definitely i was definitely grateful to grow up in this specific spot i mean what am i saying west coast just like there's scooter riders so you kind of they're off i gotta travel to like see you on i'm I remember just like because there's always like scooter kids you know what i mean there's just a large number of them in this um west coast wise at least so they're just always around a park and when like you know that's just scootering i guess in this weird abstract form as it is just a shit ton of scooter kids that's like a generation of people that might or might not become dope yeah i mean i'm kind of hoping that it keeps growing but like it's kind of growing in like a bad way like there is like for how little the sport is and like sport whatever the fuck you want to call it like yeah there's so much diversity like already which isn't good you don't you don't want the diversity nah man like like riding wise yeah dude like think of like the 
I mean, uh, like the park versus street, like that whole SMX shit. Like, I know that's not really like a thing anymore, but like hashtag SMX. Yeah, like that shit. Like right now, people like were repping that either really hard or people were hating on it like super hard. Like, that shit sucks. <laughs> you weren't about like, it. I, like, I'll go to the park and do like a bra air, but like, don't hate on me because I can't do a quint lip, you know. You'd think you'd get hate because you wouldn't do quint whips. Yeah, or like, like people, people like, got in your face about that I shit. See, like, oh, can you buttercup? I'm like, no. And they're like, oh, like just these little ass kids with like Adam LZ and like Tanner Fox stickers on. And, like, yeah. That like worship the funk bros and shit, but don't know who like Matt Keenan's. Damn. Well, I felt like all those kids, like, after you just do your thing in front of them, they kind of just like. You just watch for a bit obviously they're not doing shit and um they kind of you kind of like just win them over because you're like you're killing it you know fuck uh yeah. fuck what what they think is cool you know you're doing you're hitting your back lips and your uh, your bright airs dog yeah dude i i wish i was good i, I had back lips for a while man but um, yeah i don't i don't even throw back lips dog <laughs> dude i even flat rails like if i do a back no lip, it's like not even really a back lip it's like a suicide front board dude it's I, like, like it's, I, back lips scared the shit out of me it's back lips were one of those tricks like right when i started scootering and i tried like learning how to grind a rail and shit i throw like i threw like backboard and then i like you know in, like natural progression because i wanted to hit things backside i threw the back lip so yeah. right at the beginning i guess i did hit back lips but like since then it's just no bueno like anything I but can't. Like front board's fine. I'll do whatever. Like, yeah, yeah, most, yeah. You can kind of hop things, off. Most things that you people can do out of front board, I can do out of front board. But like, as soon as you ha- have me hop over that little bit more of the rail, I'm clueless. <laughs> Even like front lips, dog. like I'll yeah. front lip like boxes. No, and I shit. can front lip. <laughs> like suss me out a lot. Front lip is like you're just hitting the board. I guess it's the same logic for the back lip, but that like yeah. I'm not that good at front boards. <laughs> It's like, it's like, a, like you can, I can do a truck, but I've never in my lifetime landed a front truck. That's, that's a different thing though. That's spinning in an oppor- opposite direction. Yeah, but like, I feel like the yeah, front like, lip. The front spinning with bar spins, like it doesn't work in my head. Cause I, I bar spin the opposite way that I spin. See, so I like, ride with uh, Pat Nguyen and he'd bitch at my face if uh, I'd say anything Pat? about it. Cause yeah, Pat just throws him both ways, oppo and normal, like. Yeah, dude, Pat's wild. If I bitch about a trick, he'll bitch about me. <laughs> Pat's part in fucking... I bought hella good stuff, like... Solely hyped on, like, Pat. Yo, Pat was crazy. Pat is crazy, like, dog. Pat was sick. Jake's was sick. I mean, everyone's parts were sick. But Pat's part was, like, that part. That part, I was like... I need to buy this just to see Pat. Yeah. And then he was the open part, and I was like, alright. We're in. I don't even like remember that video actually. I haven't seen it in like a really long time. Cause I bought it, I gave it to my brother. Your brother into scootering? Yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like kind of into it. Like he can like double whip and like you know do like downside whips and like shit like that. But yeah. He's he's like 16, so he's he has he has time. He doesn't have that like that young Reese. The Reese, yeah. yeah, yeah. Reese is probably still young, young, like younger than me. Is he still 16? Uh, I think so. Yeah. That's crazy. Reese, you're like you got. All right. It's like I can't backlip, and then I see Pat, Jake, Anton has backlips on lock, but like that's just like seeing someone have a trick on lock that you can't even be mad about it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's like I can do like there's a lot of tricks that I have on lock that like people think are hard. Yeah, the definitely people, same. And like back up a ledge and i'm like that would take me like six hours to do like how do you do <laughs> yeah anton's mighty good at the back lip um yeah sure. but uh in this in the crew oh, fuck dude i you like might as well just give you know you know jake would like hold the longest one or something i don't know i would say so yeah because those he's like a bull ripper like i like I like even back disasters even scare me sometimes on quarters. Like I don't get how people can just like slide these back lips for hours. Like Cooper and Logan, how they just like flow bowls. Like it's 
Did you see, uh, what was it? He did the the backlit whip and like over the stairs in the pool bowl, like the love seat. Do you follow uh like have you like I know Gus Reimer kind of died out, but he's coming back. He like he did some shit at um, Oil City, just like uh. It's like I like skimmed over Island. that video. I think like I, I think I know you're talking about. It was like three. It was like him, Dennis, and this dude Tyrese, and they did uh they each like backflip whipped into like this like twelve foot like full pipe or some shit. It was crazy. Or half pipe. I gotta go check that out right now or some shit. It was on. I think that kid Tyrese uploaded it, and like I, I think Gus did too. I'll check that Gus kid Tyrese account. is the one that did. Uh, did you see that outset New York video? Uh, yeah he's the, the the black kid that did like back blunt on a like curve ledge on a mad gear yeah 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 uh, out of his mind he's so good yeah, like I'm watching he just sends, now. like crazy as shit mm. 360 down heal out i don't even know are you watching gus reimer yeah it, like even him when I was younger, like when he was unlucky, I, I remember he did like up rail, like bar finger whip or bar mick whip out, and like that should have closed my mind. Yeah, the the backlit whip, dude. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> like that big ass. That's a very steep ramp. Like it's crazy. You're just leaning into oblivion, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, what you vaping on over there, dog? Um, I peeled the label off, but it's some like apple pie shit. Some apple pie shit. Oof. The, the local shop had a sale. It was everything was like half off, so I had to cop something. I, I want some apple pie shit. Fuck. It's, it's pretty. It's it's a little sweet for my taste. How do you, but how do you feel about um RDAs? Already, um, I can't really do them. Like I know how to make them, but it's like. I don't really fuck with like having to change the cotton every couple days. Yeah. I just I just buy like the pre-made thing, like the the regular coils, and just toss them in. It's so much easier. Like I don't really care about the clouds and shit. I just I just want to vape while I'm driving and vape when I drink. Yeah. Cause like I've had a couple cigarettes like over the past like couple weeks, and it's just like it's I don't know, it's not the same. It's like it's way too harsh now seems uh that's a good that's good just like fuck that yeah don't smoke stuff <laughs> yeah i mean vaping probably like realistically it's probably not all too much better but like but you're doing your duty yeah like i can i can sit in my room and vape i can't smoke cigarettes in my room so like, facts you can you can yeah, lay like, in your bed and vape yeah exactly like i, I wake up and i just start vaping Yo. <laughs> vape day you gotta get that rush Jeez. How do you feel about um vapes while doing scooter tricks? Dude, that video, like, I was trying to film like real shit that day. And then uh Richard, uh Richard Hark, I think that's how you pronounce his last name. He was like, dude, do some tricks while vaping, and then it ended up being like a real thing. <laughs> like he wanted because he wanted to do like a day in the life. But yeah. I didn't think I was going to be able to get anything. And then we actually ended up stopping at a park. So I didn't think we were going to be able to stop at a park. And then we kind of made it into like a, a little thing. So many little kids were so mad at it, though. Like, oh, this is why scooters are called gay. Like, it was bad. Dude, I'm not fucking... Yeah, yeah, People... yeah. <laughs> like, it's a, entirely a joke. Like, I'm not saying trying to be like, yo... If you know, everyone, you know what's up. You got it, dog. Yeah, like everyone just needs to relax. Like, I'm not trying to vape to fucking blow a cloud in your face. I'm trying to vape just to vape. It's just easier and cheaper. Like I know everyone hates on it, but everyone hates on scootering too. We still no, all scooter, do that. Scootering's sick now. We hit that threshold. We're sick as fuck. We hit that threshold since day one. <laughs> Dude, came out the we womb. Didn't, but we yeah because there's like there's those iconic riders that just really like set the bar like back in the day and it's just gotten so much crazier fuck dog since you drink who's the scooter rider you've gone out and she's gone fucked up with the most um 
see i've never really been like too fucked up with like riders like i have like one of my favorite pictures that's ever been taken of me obviously Kong took it it was at um jack colston and alec baggins's house at the chai jam after party yeah it's like eric like passed out on like the stairwell that's like my favorite picture <laughs> like eric uh well i was like holding my vape in my sleep and then like eric was eric at one point had like a miller light box or like a miller highlight box on his head and then i took another picture with like isaac and kong like surrounding him yeah uh i've never gotten like like crazy fucked up with any scooter riders though like it's usually just like with my friends like i've been drunk with like eric and ben a bunch of times and like earning but yeah so, too too bad i've never thrown up with any scooter riders yet fuck throwing up is a it's a blessing it, yeah it's, it sucks but like <laughs> we like sitting here now gotta, it sucks but uh in in like when you're in the moment that's a blessing yeah it's like you, you got to experience it <laughs> but you gotta passage. have those even me and my friends fuck around with that we'll be like someone so we'll text each other and be like yo what are you trying to do tonight and we'll just say like i'm trying to throw up i'm trying to throw up you know yeah. like Facts. Like you gotta, you, you gotta have those nights sometimes to make you like make your life a little. <laughs> yeah, it's like you know, just do it. Get this throw, get this like on purpose throw up out of the way, so you don't fuck yourself up in the future. Yeah. Uh, like, you know, you're trying to impress a girl or something. Like you don't want to throw up. Or, like try to talk to a girl. You don't want to get the spins and shit. But if you're with your boys, like just throw up. Who cares? No one cares. Yeah. Dude, I'm trying to think about all the times my friends just yak in the car, like. It's just gross as fuck. You ever got some bounce back from that? What? You ever got bounce back from a friend yakking in the car? What? Have you ever caught bounce back from like your friends yakking in the car? Nah, I've never really had like throw up in the car experiences like that. Well, not like in the car. They'd like throw up out the fucking door. But I've like caught bounce back before and I was like, fuck. Nah, I haven't really gotten that. It's rough. We're, we're usually pretty like isolated when we get into that throw up mode True, so you go check on them see if they're cool but like no nah, i've never had like that <laughs> that's just like i've, I've never the gotten thrown up never thrown up on anybody yeah anything. wild too wild i was connecticut anyway a lot of uh connect connect i cut yeah connect i cut um i mean I don't know, man. It's like it's cool for sure. What are you talking about, like in a scootering aspect, or just like the life itself? Both, I guess. Everything. I don't know if you bang yeah, like I mean Connecticut, or do you kind of like represent like your city more? Is it more of a like everywhere's a little different? No, it's not. Not like it's not like a Bay Area. Like yo, I'm from fucking the Valley. It's not like shit like that. It's just more of like a I'm from Connecticut kind of thing. Like, yeah. But it's not like I rep it like hard, like you know, CT all day, like shit like that. It's not like that, but um, I don't know. It's pretty cool out here. Like, there's a lot of like iconic stuff out here. Like, like vulcanized rubber was made like in the town that I've been living in for the past couple of years. Um, hey, facts. Lit. The first ever hamburger right was made in New Haven, Connecticut. Damn. Uh, dog. Yeah, there's like a bunch of random shit. Like, not a Ford plant in my city. Mmm. A what? A Ford plant? Shit. There's like uh, some like pretty like known pizza places around here, like New Haven style pizzas, like I guess like fairly iconic. Um, I don't know, we just have like random shit out here. And then scootering, it's it's like cool but it's kinda of spread out, like everybody has like their scene with it. I'm just kind of in the middle, so I'd kinda of just bounce around. Which I think might be cooler because like I'm not like super close with like any of them, but I'm like pretty close with like all of them, you know? Yeah. So it's like I don't have like my core group, but I kind of do. You know, like, like I could hit anybody up pretty much and be like, yo, let's ride today. But it's not like it's like a regular, like unmentioned thing that we're going to ride, you know? Yeah. Like I have to hit them up to ride, but it's not like weird. 
ever met Eric or mm-hmm. Tyler somebody like I showed up at you know what LES is like that park in New York oh yeah yeah so I showed up at LES I was with Ernie and like I had my scooter like in my hand I'm sitting down on the wall or whatever and Eric's walking up I was like hey we've never met before but I'm Billy and he just said like okay and just like kept walking away like that was like one of the worst experiences I've ever had in meeting a person <laughs> oh like Eric's a great dude so I just I can, I can chill with him all the time and like Eric has the best shower that I've ever been to in my life shout out Eric's shower yo what's up with that give me a detail about Eric's shower I heard about it alright so you walk into his bathroom when you leave his bathroom make sure you close his door or he's gonna fucking he's gonna yell at you but you walk in there you got like a jacuzzi like bathtub and then you walk okay so you're there you have a light switch from the outside okay so like it's it's like it's own separate thing you know like it's it's a separate room almost yeah so you get there you turn the light switch on you you open it it's not like a curtain no shower curtain shit you have your own like door that you have to pull open the fridge so you're you're getting in there you walk in like a it's like a six by six little little square and then you got this like 10 inch diameter shower head roughly and it just it's right in the middle so you know if you're not trying to get wet for a second you're trying to really scrub you move away from it but then you get under it it's perfect flow perfect pressure dude anybody that's ever been there can vouch for it fuck <laughs> yeah that shit. sounds crazy dog <laughs> and then eric's house is just like eric's house is guys in like I'm sure most people eyes that have been there is like the East Coast house. Like nobody, I've never met somebody that hasn't been staying at Eric's house. You know? Yeah. I met I've met Cass in there a couple times. Like my my iconic moment of my life. Like I met Matt McKean at Eric's house. I met um, like Josh Schmuckle Schmuckle. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Um, I met like Stedman. Um, I don't know. I've just met. A, I've met a bunch of people and just like gotten closer with people at Eric's house. Like Eric's house is the scooter house for me. Yeah. And like everybody, like if you hit someone up to go ride in the city, you either hit up Kong or Eric. I usually hit up Eric. Fuck yeah, that. dude! I wanna. That just sounds so nice. Like. Yeah, and when everybody, steamy, when everybody when ever comes cold out, and shit. Like, Oof. Tommy. Richard and uh, Chris Doyle came out. I hit up Eric. Ian Johnson came out like a long ass time ago. I hit up Eric. Um, I don't know, man. Eric's like, if you're coming to New York, you're going to Eric. Usually. Eric, I'm coming for you. Yeah, does anyone care? <laughs> so, like, my but. thing is, just, like, if he tries to get pissy about it, like, oh, there's too many people, I'm like, I'll just buy you beer. And he's like, okay, okay. Fine. I have to like convince TSA I'm not a terrorist anymore. It's gonna be pretty fun. Yeah, dude, flying in New York is, dude. Flying from Cali was gonna be, is gonna be nice and expensive. Yeah. Because I'm kind of. I mean, Outset was supposed to have some sort of like, uh, like week eight or four or some shit. I don't know. It was like the week. It was like the first through the eighth or something. But like, we can't go anymore. I guess there was some like overbooking or some shit, and that got me bummed because I was trying to head out. Yeah, we don't. Ever since, yeah, we don't fuck with overbooking anymore. I got a fat vintage um, United Airlines T-shirt. How's that? <laughs> Are there like Sabers on the West Coast? Yeah, there's one they in my are? city. Or I don't, I like, I don't know. Like I've, I mean, there's. Uh, it's like, pretty. It's pretty Sabres sick. Like Chicago and stuff. I just Sabers are sick. Yeah, dude, Sabers are sick. Like Good Goodwill's like been my spot lately. I've, I've like been, had better luck with Sabers and Goodwill these days. Uh, well, there's been a bunch of like new Goodwill, so I feel like people like have done some better shit. Yeah, I feel like but, it like, depends uh, on the city. At Sabers, I found a pair of Gravises like back in the day, and I still have them. <laughs> what kind? Like. I, uh, I think they were called like slimes or something. Oh shit! Yeah, like I, I wasn't like super into that, but like 
I don't know, I saw a Gravis and I was like, oh shit, they don't sell these in like America anymore, I'm pretty sure. Like, I might as well grab. Yo, I had or, the. The Gravis team died or something. I don't know. Some shit happened to Gravis. This is probably like a good purchase. They were like eight bucks, my size, whatever. I, um, I rode a pair of the Dylan Ryder Gravises back in the day. Yeah. So shitty. <laughs> Yeah, that's some Kong shit. I remember Kong had like all the pairs. There's like Yo, a red one. They look one, sick. One. The Huff ones um work a bit better, I assume now. But um oh, you're talking, oh, you're talking about the Gravis like readers? Like yeah, Ernie used to fuck with I think Kong did too. Like the I know the old ass ones. I wasn't really about that like weird ass like they were the slip ons, but they had that like weird thing in the front of it. Like I didn't Yeah, really the like little that. tongue. Yeah, I didn't like that. The, yeah, the Huff ones, Kong's heavy on the Huff ones. But Kong's I, killing that, it with those things. That's too, like, proper for me, you know? Kong's just too jazzy. Like, he's so smooth with it, and he pulls it off. I'm, I'm like, not one of those. Kong is, like, the most gentle scooter rider. <laughs> you think, so? like, gentle? You, is that what he's doing? Is he just being gentle with it? I can never yeah, notice. Like, he can do a trick, even if it's not something big, but he'll land it, like, so softly. And just, like... Float. It landed like it makes it look so good. I'm the opposite of that. <laughs> I broke my leg. <laughs> I land shit hard. Yeah, it's like rough. I it hard. My feet are always touching the ground, but it's whatever. Fuck. That's why I had to upgrade a little bit. I was riding. I was heavy on the four or five for a long time, but I'm on a. I'm on those new district decks now. You have the the whatever what the, the H whatever's the new ones. The HT five fifty. How are those? It's all right. Like, it's like that Brandon James deck that came out a while ago. Like, I fucked with that. I haven't even ridden one of those. How are the, <laughs> what were the, what, yeah. It's just they have like no convex or concave, whatever. Like on the deck, so it's just like flat. Yeah. But I really like that. And then it's it's like twenty one point seven by four seven. Like, that's fine. And you can nose bump with them now. Okay. So like it's it's straight. Like the grind rails in the bottom are kind of soft sometimes, but like. Sometimes it kind of helps. With yeah. I was on four or five. I had a pair, like a threshold or some shit. Yeah, dude, I, like, I was always heavy on like the thresholds or like the tread sleds or the hammerheads. Like, my, my heart was pounding for five wide, dude. My heart was pounding for five wide. I needed that shit. you like, yeah, mine was too. Like once the sleds came out, I was like, oh my God, I can't wait. And then I bought one off of uh, JJ. You know, JJ, like, Powell, one yeah. his last name is, one of the Chai guys. Like, I bought uh, his old one, and then I rode it, and, I, like, I got on it, and it felt fine, but, like, that's when I finally started realizing that, like, I'm such a bitch about weight, like, I can't fuck with, like, heavy stuff. See, I never wrote, wrote like, I never had a sledge, though. One, it's 250, and I was like, fuck. And, yeah. Uh, that's, back that's in the day. Enough. Like, I, dude, I'm the biggest, like advocate i guess might be the word for like ebay lurking like most shit i used to buy was just like just ebay parts damn like i was the forks i'm riding actually right now i bought it was actually a pretty sick complete it was like um what the fuck was on it there was like a thresh um some t-bars a till ses some wheels and these tilt forks for like 200 bucks scooters <laughs> everything was mint yeah, yeah. Like you just gotta lurk eBay. Like they have a bunch of like attic decks on eBay right now for sale for cheap. Scooter resale. Yeah, for real. Like you, if you just gotta lurk hard, because like some people just like don't know about scootering anymore. They just see shit. They're like, oh, I'll put it on eBay. Yeah. You gotta be on that. Fuck. I used to. I used to bang the the scooter shop and trade pretty tough. The the resale game. Fuck, uh, like, back in the day. Good resource shit? No, like, like, I was never a part of that. I missed that wave. I was uh, doing it on Facebook. Oh, uh, really? I was not, I, I tried to, but, like, I tried to, like, flip scooter parts for a while. I just, like, work eBay hard and, like, try to resell everything. But it just, like, didn't work for me. Yeah. I ended up just losing money or, like, riding parts. What was it? I, I don't even know. Like, there was, like, a huge group in, or, like, a scene of that shit. But, um, that shit died out. <laughs> it's all gone. Oh, that's yeah, there was like some big ass like 
203 scooter shit and like every day these there was like five kids that were just trying to trade like parts every day and then i just one day i think i don't know i think i was just mad for some reason i was like can you guys just like ride your scooters like i've never heard of any of you just ride your scooters pick parts every day like, <laughs> and then and then i left the group and they were all like pissed. i've never it's heard like, of any of you it's like i mean like i'm not the biggest name ever, like even in connecticut but like if i've never heard of you and you're from connecticut like i've been around most parks in connecticut like if i've never heard of you or seen you or like even like fucking even seen you do like a tail up dude like just stop trying to trade parts every day just ride like everyone wants to have like this best setup but like yo best setup dial test dog let's go yeah, so, like contest. jordan lago dialed like that shit like contest dog I don't know, like, when I was younger, I didn't give a shit. Like, my scooter right now sounds like shit. Like, I don't care how it sounds as long as, like... I don't even care. Like, even if, like, I filmed a clip with Nate, and, like, my compression... I, I have that, like, OG tilt compression thing, like, that big-ass cap. Yeah. It, it completely came out, but I was still filming. Uh. I was... Because it, like, I thought it stripped, because... I mean, it, it did strip, but... And I was still just trying to film, like... People are too, I mean, not so anymore, but like, people are way too concerned about, like, dial. Because like, my cousin used to be heavy into that. My cousin, Joey Finnegan, doesn't ride Wild anymore. Wildlife, dog. Used to be heavy into, like, we'd get to the park, or we'd go to, like, try to leave, and he'd be like, wait, I can't go, my scooter's not dial. And we'd sit there for, like, an hour trying to, like, dial it there. Or, like, he wouldn't ride. I can't, I can't leave yet. I gotta dial. Yeah, for real, like... Just fucking ride, dude. Yeah, there's none of that. But um, yeah, dialing's um, I'm not gonna like just be like, nah, dialing's bad, cause I don't know. It's cool having like if you fucking I don't know, get your scooter stolen, and then you just buy a complete like a, cu- a custom complete or some shit. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, I can't, dialed. I I hate like there's some headsets out there like I bought the TSI headset and it was like too smooth for me like i didn't like it like like what do you mean too smooth it like i couldn't feel myself like tail whipping like i want to like hear it going around you know like that's I a... couldn't feel it i couldn't hear it it was it was too smooth till headsets is perfect yeah till till it's good you feel yeah, it it's for like, like, for like yeah. new wheels i hate new wheels bro i put a bunch of bikers on to using tilt headsets <laughs> really that's yeah. some shit it was, it's sick. Yeah, my, my, one of my boys like hit like was talking to me because I was riding like ethic grips for a while. Yeah. Oh like, yeah. Everyone, well, everyone loves ethic grips. I fucking hate biker, grips. biker. Dude, they're too fat for me. They're too much. They're, yeah, way too fat. I f- yeah, they're like holding sausages while I'm riding, not like grips. Yeah, like I can't feel what I'm doing. Like but I run for a, a while. Yeah. Like I tried to do it, but they're they're too fat. I have I had also like some bikers that are like hell into the ethic grips, so they're asking me about that shit. Or the I had the the Raptors, the Louis V6. See those those are like tolerable. those bang those bang dog. Give me them, I'd ride them, but I won't buy them. Like those are still too fat for me. I'm an ODI dude. And like fuck the OD- I can't do it, dude. They're too small. Like I can't. See, I like I ride the inside of my grip anyway, so like I don't even care that it's too small. Like my my pointer finger and my thumb are like on metal, so like I don't even care if they're too small like that. I got the hell ride grips full on. Grip. Mm. Get yourself some hella grips. Product placement. Nah, those, those are straight. Like some of us, uh, Eric those. Those are fine. They cool. I'm just used to them now. Like after you bang like a grip for a while, you just gripped in. You just ride in it. <laughs> thing. Like throughout my life, I've ridden either ODIs. I rode like Animal Edwin's for a while with those. Nah, those are whack. Everyone like. Yeah, that and like the SNM, the Aaron Ross like keyboard ass ones. People like always talk about that shit. Oh, I'm like nah, like, dude. Like the, cold, like the cold grip or no? Dude, yeah, cold grips nah. I'm like, Those you're riding no too. grip. Now the keyboard grips, I actually, I'm pretty sure I did ride for a while too. Fuck. And then I tried to ride um like Root Industry because I tried to like hardcore like have everything on my setup all scootering with the Root Industry grips. Yeah. They're just like longer guys, but they they ripped in like a month. Did you ride the tilt grips? And like, 
the tail grips. I'm going to ride the new tail grips when they come out. I'll definitely cop those, but like the, the other ones. The lines look, are just getting I mean, squigglier. I know I just said I don't care about being small, but those are too small. Which one? The tail grips. They're like too small and they're like, I don't like that pattern they have on them. <laughs> the weird squiggle lines? Yeah, like it's weird, but like the new ones are going to be sick because they're going to be like more I think squiggly. They like an inch longer or some shit. So like that'll be cool. I'll ride those. You ever you ever uh, ride with the fool riding like the XL ODIs that just go all the way in his bars? Dude, I was so close to buying those so long ago. Just like full straight up, like like you can't catch crossbar. Like you're just, <laughs> yeah, you're you're good, dude. I almost did that. Bars been king. I never ended up doing it. Fuck, dude. We have to. Bring, how about the phone grips? You ever, you ever rock those things? I mean, like back in the day when like phone grips were like the only thing. Yeah, but like I know Badger was riding like the ethic phone grips for a while. But yeah, like, that's what. Uh, those things were pretty straight. I don't know if I could do that again. I remember when Addy was banging those pretty hard. Dude, Addy's crazy. Addy was banging the thumbs for a while. He's got the new rubbers though. All right, well, before I go, I got to fucking at least shout out Speak Out that, I mean, they're the, they're all the homies, you know, shout out Forest Boys, shout out Connecticut, whatever. I don't fuck with it like that, but I got to do it at least. CT? And shout out Bush Beer. Shout out Bush Beer. Yup, gang, gang, we out.